habla Jesús, soy administrador del grupo Todo Sobre Lucha Libre, los cuales estamos en Facebook, Twitter, Instagram y claro está nuestro canal de YouTube para que siempre estén pendientes a todas las carteleras, todos los videos, todas las noticias que son de lucha libre alrededor del mundo. En estos momentos vamos a tener luchadores BAM on the ground, que significa BAM, Beyond All Mortals. Así que vamos a estar hablando con este luchador ya mismito. Vamos a esperar a que Instagram envíe, ¿verdad? Un mensaje como que, como que eh, estamos en vivo. Así que vamos a esperar por aquí unos minutitos para estar esperando, ¿verdad? Las personas que, ok, aquí tenemos a Bam on the World. Vamos a enviarle por aquí. Vive. Ok, de ahí you have. Saludos a Quito. Hello, my friend. How are you? Good, good. How about you? Well, very fine, very fine. You understand a little bit of Spanish or not? Yeah, so, so not much. Uh, uh, yeah. A poquito? <laughs> Just a little. Okay. Uh, why are you on the worst wrestling? Huh? Why are you in the world of wrestling? Uh, let's see. Uh, probably my brother. He started, I started about five and a half years ago. He brought me down to wrestling training one day. And ever since then, I got into it. I've been like, mm -hmm. like this since I was a little kid. Okay. So, bam. Beyond all mortals. Underworld. <laughs> What does that What does that mean to you? Because it, it sounds very, very dark, very <laughs> like an horror movie or something like that. Yeah, I, I basically like the horror genre and all the mythology stuff. So it just came to me one day. Uh, they actually called me Bam in wrestling practice back then, mm -hmm. and then we had to, I had to figure out a name. So my brother came up with his name, How uh, Beyond All Mortals, and it stuck. I think you love to be a heel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Definitely. the first time you step it the first time you step into the ring, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know, it just feels great. <laughs> like the whole world just changes. Really? Yeah, it Is just it? feels like natural. <laughs> Can you say it's like a fantasy come true? Definitely. Oh my God. Okay. You, uh, right now I see that you are in Magic City. That's correct? Yes, correct. Who would you love to wrestle over there? I don't know. There's a <laughs> lot of people. <laughs> There's a lot I would love to wrestle. Mm. Uh, you thinking about possible championship title belt? Maybe in the future. Mm, I, I, I think you're thinking about uh, a title match. It, it, it'll be in the future, possibly. Okay. So, if you have a dream match, with whom you would like to be that dream match? With what wrestler? Mm. Mm. That's, mm. that's a hard choice. That, that's a hard... Why? There's just so many. I would love to have a dream match with my brother, but that's out of the question. <laughs> Why? This uh, is wrestling. Anything can happen. Yeah, possibly. I'll probably more tag with him than actually wrestle him. Mm, okay. The children, when they see you with your makeup and all the things you have, how they react? They scared? They really like it? Surprisingly, no. They actually like it. They cheer for me. Really? They, they have sweet cheer. I get so much applause. Mm, okay. If you today receive four phone calls, WWE, TNA, AEW, Ring of Honor, which one will you choose and why? Probably Very tough Tom question, Tom. huh? Probably AEW. Oh, why? Well, one, I know a lot of people in AEW. They seem more... They don't seem as more tight as WWE. If you have to follow every rule by the book, 
This seems more mm. relaxed over there, from what I heard. You know, when I see your photograph, I was like imagining a Jew in a match with the fiend. <laughs> Might happen. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, well, now he he supposed not in the WWE, so you never know. Yeah. How happen. about with with Braun Strowman? Right now he's out of WWE. He got her new company. Maybe, who knows? But would you like it to have a match with that guy, Brom Strowman? I don't know. The way he is will probably destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, New Japan. Mm. Mm. A possibility. Do you like hardcore matches? I've been in one. I've been in one hardcore match in my life. Okay, in these five years of your career, have you ever think about retirement? Mm, there's times where I think of I want to stop it. I come back to it. But why? Your body? Oh, something yeah, my on body. your mind? My body. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a... Uh, up for the shoulder impingement. I got a tear in my meniscus on my knee right now. Oh my God. You know that uh, the body receives until one day he will say no more. I know. That's why I'm just trying to make it like, slightly easy right uh, now. Yeah, I, I don't like to see wrestling wheelchairs on the beds. No, I don't like that. I, I like that. If you have to retire, you retire and stay home and take some time, my man. So I'm trying to do Yeah, because you uh, also you have a personal life, you know, you are not only a wrestler, you are a, you are a human being. Yeah. What is the name of your brother, uh, the, re the wrestling name? Uh, let's just, let's see, He's, he was one half of the longest reigning NXT Tag Team Champion. Mm, Any guess? So, mm, so maybe he can... Give a good call for you in WWE? Mm. Maybe. Would That's you like that? Nah, I don't know about WWE. No? Mm, you are scared of every time they, they say you're fired? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want all that pressure. Okay. Well, your brother is a uh, half of the tag team champion from next. Yeah, he, oh my he, god! He was, the, he was one of the longest reigning. Okay, in next. It, yeah, back in two, 2016. Okay, so let's cross our finger because when they go to a SmackDown or Raw, you know, one month, two months, they say you're out. Yeah, that's how it was. He, I, th uh, I think it's been three years since they uh, left WWE. Two years, three years. Okay. Okay. Now he's doing all his independent stuff, has a school up in Tampa Bay. Okay. That's the problem. That's the problem because everybody say, hey, I want this wrestler from next. I want to see him in Raw. I want to see him in SmackDown. But they translate then to... to Raw SmackDown, then they use it a little bit, and then yeah, they're out. That's how it was. They were dominant NXT. They brought them up, and that was it. Do you think that the, that's Pin's fault? Because Triple, Triple H was the one who, yeah, who was in next. That, that's what... I don't know. It's, NXT was so dominant, and once they go to the main roster, Vince just takes them down. People say that SmackDown is the number one brand. They don't believe in Raw. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> which one, which one would, would you like, SmackDown or Raw? SmackDown. SmackDown. I, I prefer a SmackDown. Okay, if you can come to any place around the world to fight, would you like to do it? Panama, Chile, uh, España, Puerto Rico. I've been to... Dominican Republic. I've been to Haiti. Mm -hmm. I've been to Bahamas to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Three places it's out of state. 
if somebody told you to cut out your beard and your mustache and become a face, would you do it? Nope. Why? I, I like the beard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you will never put your beard on, on the line on a nope. wrestling match? Nope. <laughs> never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and when they, you know, they, sometimes they, and they are wrestlers that touch the beer and try to throw you from the beer. Do it they hurts. do that? <laughs> they <laughs> done, <it> <laughs> <hurts>. Right? <laughs> and then they show you a couple of, <laughs> yeah. hey, here, I, I have your hair in my hand. <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, uh, You are also in another company or only in Magic City oh, Wrestling? Oh, just Magic City for right now. Okay, I, I've been talking with uh, Benny G. He's a great, he's a great human being. Yes, he's he also is. in law in law in Puerto Rico. So maybe, yeah, maybe someday we will see you here in Puerto Rico. Possibility. Yeah, maybe you can see you with Carlito against Amasha against Carlito. Possibility one day. Mm, maybe you're dreaming about. I want to go to Puerto Rico. I want to expand, expand my my abilities as a wrestler. The the most important thing I, I saw in you that you're a very humble person. Yes, and that's nice because you always have to to be humble. Always to to say thank you. Always think about the the company that give you the first chance. The people that interview the first time, and that's why you need because. Some people go to WWE and all those company, and they start to say, you know, the ego, they inflate it. No way, man. You need to be humble. Definitely. I, I saw you, uh, 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 you know, I, I saw you like like this uh, shameless guy. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine being in a faction with Shamus, with the beer and all that? Possibly. Mm. I mean, I, I am a little bit of Irish. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay, so maybe that, that would be great. See you there. She must presented you. Here's my main man. Bam! Transferring <laughs> uh. to it. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait. You say, you say you don't want to go to WWE, so maybe that is not never going to happen. <laughs> Ah, I trick you. I trick you. You say you don't want to be in WWE, but then you say, okay, me and Sheamus, hmm, tag, tag team champions, hmm, the two guys with a beard, hmm, that sounds great. Ah. Can you imagine a match with your, with your brother? No, why? Do you think, do you think he, he will win you one, two, three? Hmm? What was that? Do you think he could, do you think he will win the match one, two, three? Possibly. He would destroy me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he would destroy me. <laughs> you know that it's wrestling, uh sometimes brothers, father against son. Sometimes it happens. I don't know. You never say you can never say no. Imagine today your brother calling you, hey, they want you here next. What would you say? Yes or no? Mm. Nah. He's, he's not really? even no more, so he's not with them, so. Uh, mm, well, the, the sky's the limit, my man. You can be any way you want. He'll be on Magic City's next show. Yeah, when did he say that show? When? Uh, the 30th, April 30th. Okay, against whom are you going to have a match that day? Mm. I'm facing Daisy Kill. I believe you mm. had him on an interview. I've seen. Yeah, but uh, no, uh, he didn't appear. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He, he never told me what what happened. Maybe he was uh, he, he suffered an emergency or something like that. But he never appeared. So uh, I wish he can write to me and maybe make the Instagram live this week. So I I, I wish you the best of that match. Thank you, thank you. Okay, if people want to reach you from uh, the social media, how can they do it? Uh, Instagram, bam, underscore, underworld. Okay. And any last message for your fans? Not really. <laughs> no messages. 
follow, give me a follow, watch my YouTube videos. Come to Magic City if you're ever in Miami. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to finish the interview in Spanish for my people. Mi gente, BAM on the world, beyond all mortals. Vamos a darle oportunidades de que vaya a otros países. Esto ha sido todo por el momento de Instagram Live. Gracias por estar con nosotros, pendiente del nuevo Instagram Live. Uh, thank you very much, BAM. I give you a hug from here for Puerto Rico, and this is not going to be the first or the last time I'm going to contact you for another Instagram Live. All right, thank you, thank you. Have a nice day. You too, take care. Take care.